Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here and welcome to the DocSports.com report for Tuesday, January 21st, 2020. Free pick and college baskets coming up. Hey, first a quick note, if you've yet to become a member at DocSports.com, you can give it a, a trial run and it's a great way to do it. You click on the link below this video in the description box, get yourself set up for a free $60 account. Use those free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages or anybody else on the roster at DocSports.com. Free $60 account, great way to give DocSports.com a trial run. All right, we're going to get to a free pick in just a moment. Recap of the last couple of days. We had a losing day on Saturday, as you know. Came back, went four and one on Sunday, two and one on Monday, six and two the last two days. And hey, thanks for those who jumped on board for the six star winner on Monday in the NBA. We had the Utah Jazz, and we're now up almost 11 units over the last three or four days in the NBA. We went one and one in the NBA, but we had a two star loss and a six star win. So you can do the math and, and come up with the uh, gain of a couple of units there uh, with the Utah Jazz who laid seven, seven and a half and blew the doors off of the Pacers. So we're in a horrendous spot uh, coming off the night before the win at Denver then having to play in Salt Lake. So we took advantage thanks to those who jumped on board. Uh, as far as everything yesterday, again, two and one with our premium picks at DocSports.com. No NBA on Tuesday. There's only the one game, the Clippers and the Mavs, too many bumps and bruises, not even a line out yet as I cut this video, but I'm not even going to get involved when the line comes out because there's just too many question marks. So this will be the only video today and we'll have no NBA premium picks for Tuesday. We'll be back at NBA action on Wednesday, I'm sure. As far as the NHL, we won last night with the Florida Panthers. A late come from behind win and our NHL for Tuesday available at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific time. Might have a big play in the NHL as we look through the card a couple of times. As far as college basketball, 61% with the last 47 college basketball sides. We passed yesterday. We're back with the multiple game card on Tuesday in my college baskets every day of the week at DocSports.com. Available at one, excuse me, available at 11 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific. So we'll have multiple plays in college basketball for Tuesday and the NHL. Don't miss out on Tuesday's card at DocSports.com. Real quick update on the betting on the Super Bowl before we jump into today's free play. Uh, Kansas City laying one, the total 54. Public, well, they're on KC at about 58% of the tickets. The money is pretty much split down the middle on the side. You got Sam, uh, Kansas City getting about 51, 52% of the money. So they're right now a one point favorite. That total, we said, we said it the other day. Man, I couldn't believe that they set the total at 51 and a half in some books that set that original opener. Really thought it should have been about 55 and they've seen nothing but over money. And that totals all the way up to 54 in most books now. So it's the Super Bowl. It doesn't mean it's not gonna be an under when the game is actually played but as far as betting purposes kind of surprised to see that total at 51 and a half knowing that there's going to be a ton of public action public likes betting the over and yet they set it at 51 and a half there you go all right let's get to our free pick uh, for Tuesday's card and we're going to turn to big 12 college basketball action in Ames Iowa it's Oklahoma State at Iowa State these teams are kind of in a similar situation I mean both teams rebuilding this season both teams could use a win uh, Oklahoma State's lost five in a row you've got the Iowa State Cyclones who have lost four of the last five and although some of the losses have been against similar teams, I haven't liked the look of the Cowboys who have lost several of their games by double digits. And then you look at their effective field goal percentage and it's horrendous. It's like 303rd in the country. On the flip side with the home state Iowa State Cyclones, you know, they've lost to some tough opponents and some of these games have been rather close. They lost uh, by six to Oregon State. They lost by seven to Michigan. They lost by eight to Seton Hall. Uh, they did lose their rivalry game against Iowa. Uh, lost a close one, two point game in overtime to TCU. Baylor, Texas Tech, they did lose those two games by double digits but you get the picture. And they did beat Oklahoma. There's another team like Iowa State that I have in my top 60 in power ratings. They beat Oklahoma by 13 in Ames, Iowa. You look at their effective field goal percentage, it's decent, it's about 51%. They've got a real nice uh, defensive and offensive turnover percentage. And I think what you're gonna see here is two teams rebuilding, obviously. Both teams could use a win, but I just think Iowa State's a little bit further along. And I've got them winning this game by eight to nine points. They're laying five, five and a half, our free pick on Tuesday, Iowa State. Cyclones minus the points over Oklahoma State. All right, again, don't forget for what's going on for us on Tuesday at DocSports.com. We look to continue the run that we've started over the past couple of days. Multiple college basketball game card available at 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific, and the NHL 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific, all at DocSports.com exclusively. It's going to do it for me for this video. If you like them, hey, click on the thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. I do appreciate those who have done so thus far. I'm Scott Sprites of DocSports com you know the drill let's put tuesday in the wind column right back here wednesday 5 a.m eastern 2 a.m pacific